Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Monley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for July 8th to 20th. First, we're going to talk about this kind of not that unusual, but kind of unusual, in case you can say, of the system that developed over the far eastern Atlantic. There's only been a couple storms that have formed at this low latitude and this far out and this early in the season. But here's the current position now. Um, it is located at 10.3 north, 42.8 west. Maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and moving towards the west at 60 miles per hour. And I want to uh, look at another thing. Here is um, a couple of the models. Oh, this is... Is this the wrong one? Oh, I probably clicked the wrong one. Okay. All right, here's a, um, early track guidance initialized at 1800 UTC. This is the early cycle. This is the late cycle. Bring it to the Caribbean. And we're going to look at the experimental uh, late cycle. And the GFS ensembles. They all generally bring it into this area. Now, if we take a look at the satellite picture, this is the visible satellite picture of it. It's very tightly wound, and um, it might develop a little bit further in the next few days. But as it gets close to the Caribbean, we have a lot of shear going on and drier air. So it may not intensify, but it could hold together. That's one thing. One thing with these small systems, they can ramp up really fast but also um, be uh, downgraded really fast and, and diminishes. Okay, we're going to get to the forecast now. Okay, this is a period for July 8th to the 12th. We're looking at the 8th. We have a broad ridge across much of the nation. We have a trough here. We have the Wesleys to the north, a ridge over here. We have a little bit of a trough here in the northeast. So um, during this period, above normal heights will cover much of the nation, along with above normal temperatures. A front will push into the east with showers and storms, and monsoonal moisture will spread into the southwest, uh, resulting in storms. For July 11th to the 15th, here the 11th, we still have a little change of westerlies remain to the north. Here's our ridge, 594 DM across much of the nation, with above normal heights, a little bit of a trough here trough here miles of good agreement as we go to the 15th and we look at the rest of the ensembles or the models and ensembles they are in a good agreement so for this forecast period i am forecasting above normal temperatures for much of the nation i think this is a little bit overdone temperatures might be below normal here by about two degrees but generally above normal temperatures forecast for much of the nation with anomalies of 12 degrees or more and again the highest anomalies would be across the west for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for much of this area here and uh the probability of occurrence 45 to 55 percent we have above normal precipitation forecast for this region as well as here probability of occurrence is 45 percent a look at the period for July 16th to the 20th. Wrong map. To the 16th to the 20th. Here at the 16th. And we have above normal heights again across much of the nation. Westerlies remain to the north. And we have above normal heights. So generally looking at this. Expecting, again, above normal temperatures across much of the area, mostly the west, though, with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees above normal. And temperatures here might be closer uh, to about maybe 1 to 2 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence 50%. We have above normal precipitation for this region here, portion of the four corners due to monsoon moisture. And also for here, most of the area east of the Mississippi River, 
probability of occurrence is 45 to 50 percent. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for July 8th to 20th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.